So who exactly did you marry? Us or them? Was it legal? You don't look like any minister I've ever seen before. You know, as much joy as it brings me to unite couples and the bonds of holy matrimony, a man of the cloth needs to earn a living. Oh, you probably have a condo in Hawaii. I wish. That's a timeshare, Reno. And with the economy these days. Okay, well, I'm a little uh, short on cash. Duh. Okay, first, we need to see some credentials. Are you suggesting I'm a fraud? Would you quit stalling and just prove that you're a licensed minister? I can assure you I'm fully licensed by the state of Nevada to unite couples in the bonds of matrimony. Fine. There you go. Thank you. Uh, you asked me to come to this room last night to conduct a wedding, which you said was a hell of a long time in coming. Yes, so that means it was us. Would you shut up and let the man speak? And may I say, I would like to commend you for being a most entertaining group. You're amazing moonwalking. <laughs> I don't moonwalk. And your impassioned rendition of Climb Every Mountain, inspiring. I sang? Kind of. <clears throat> okay, let's go to the chase. Mate, who did you marry? Us or them? Well, uh, you stood before me. Well, <laughs> you were trying to stand. Okay, so, this is all a mistake. So you married us? No, I married them. Oh, just sir. Club soda, man. I don't mean to sound impertinent. But you look a bit lonely. That was a tough morning. My girlfriend up and left wouldn't even stick around for breakfast. Just packed her bags and cleared out. That's heartless. I thought so. She must have had a good reason, though. Maybe you're a bit too controlling. Me? Nah, I'm a, I'm a wonderful guy in every way. Well, I'm, I'm sure that she'll be seeing her again. I certainly hope so. Hey, Naples, I got a stock room that needs to be inventory. Coleman, if, if the lady leaves, I might get restless and decide to check your import labels on your liquor shipments. Oh, <laughs> I'll rush to tech to take all the time you need. Thank you. Care to join me in this? Well, I usually don't socialize with customers, but for you, I'll make an exception. Where's, uh, where's Miss Baird? She's still upstairs in her room. She wants you to bring her down. I'll go get her. Hey, you're sleeping with her, aren't you? <laughs> nice work, Falcon Air. So what's it like to nail a supermodel, huh? Hiding something. So is Dante. Why are you making a lot of assumptions? No. Why would they lie about knowing each other? I am telling you, something big happened in New York City when Dante was guarding Brett. I thought I gave you the afternoon off. There was some kind of a problem in the kitchen. Anything I should be concerned about? No, but I think that might concern you. I appreciate you setting up this meeting, but I don't need an escort. You're crazy if you think you're going by yourself. I wasn't asking permission. Well, I'm telling you, I'm going with you. Look, Carly, for all you know, this Brad Norman guy is an ex-cop with an accident. How am I supposed to get any information out of this guy with his brand new boss sitting right across the table? You want a meeting? Those are the terms. I, I, I know this, this situation's tough for everybody. I get that. And I am trying to be understanding, but I feel like everything we have has been shoved aside know, to make room for I'm sorry, Brenda. I know, but I'm, I'm making some progress. I know more about the Balkan now. 
I mean, it's not gonna help me find him, but it could be valuable information. Well, does it have anything to do with why he's after Brenda? Yes. Okay, well, can you tell me about it? 